here at CES 2019, we've already seen an awful lot of autonomous car technology. So much, in fact, that, well, we've kind of given up on covering it. But I'm here, believe it or not, on the Honda booth, where there is some technology that we think you're going to be super excited about. First up is the autonomous work vehicle. Yes, I know, it is autonomous. But this vehicle is very important. We first saw it last year on the Honda booth here at CES, where it was just a concept vehicle, just a vision of what maybe might happen in the future with autonomous vehicles using Honda's ATV platform. After CES, 2018, Honda received such interest from attendees that it decided to turn that concept into a prototype vehicle. And it's been working with a couple of different partners to examine what this vehicle could be used for in the real world. Some applications already have included helping firefighters in Colorado move their firefighting equipment up the mountain so that they can help deal with forest fires. And that's exactly what we've got behind me. The ATV-based autonomous work vehicle is fully loaded with all the gear needed to safely help firefighters do their job. Other applications include university campuses, indoor mining operations where you may not be able to get a larger vehicle in. At the moment, Honda says that the prototypes it's been working on are using internal combustion engine drivetrains. However, in the future, Honda says it does want to produce electric vehicles too. Why has it not worked on an electric autonomous work vehicle yet? Well, that's pretty simple. Right now, Honda already has everything it needs in its commercially available ATVs to produce this vehicle and make it a reality. Honda hasn't yet decided what the specifications of the battery electric version of the autonomous work vehicle will be, but it says it is intending to bring such a vehicle to market. Price versus specification is something that's very important to Honda and it needs to make it affordable to the industries that it hopes to deliver the vehicle to. Elsewhere on the Honda booth, however, we've been learning about electric vehicle technology. Now, as many of you will know, Honda's been working on electric vehicles now for some time. It's Honda Fit EV is a vehicle that we have seen on the roads in certain key markets and now the Honda Clarity Electric and Honda Clarity Plug-in Hybrid are available. I know many of the people watching this channel feel that Honda isn't serious about electric vehicles, so I was very keen to hear that Honda has actually been working on a wireless vehicle-to-grid charging technology, which allows two-way power transfer to the vehicles. Now, when it comes to wireless vehicle technology, you probably think of inductive charging pads. But this system here works to transfer power both ways between the vehicle and the grid. At the moment, it is still very much in the early prototype phase, but says Honda, it's worked on a conductive two-way power transfer system that will allow cars to connect to the electricity grid to both charge and feed power back to the grid. It's going to be built on a new technology that Honda now has in certain areas of Southern California for its Honda Fit EV customers. This technology allows those customers to decide when their car is charged. It allows them to prioritize charging based on schedule as well as what type of electricity is being generated. And as I discovered earlier, it's very useful because at the moment, when you plug a car into a charging station, there is a spike in power demand, and that normally results in a gas or other fossil fuel power station producing more energy and thus burning more fuel, even if the local grid mix is renewable based. But if you use a smart grid based system to detect when electricity demand is low, and renewable energy generation is high, you can actually save the renewable energy suppliers money. That's because energy generators have to pay to provide electricity to the power grid. So if demand is low, electricity companies aren't going to push their renewable generated electricity to the grid. But if there are cars ready and willing to take that electricity on board, it can actually save the energy generator money and it can also help save the customer money, all while cleaning the grid up at the same time. This two-way power transfer, says Honda, will be coming in some of its new all-electric vehicles in the not-too-distant future. As you might expect, Honda hasn't said specifically what those vehicles will be or given me any details, but that's hardly a surprise. Most automakers do tend to keep future models 
vehicles under wraps until they're absolutely ready to launch them. Either way, I'm very excited to see what Honda has in the future. V to G is a very important part of electric vehicle technology in the future, and it could also, of course, help in a disaster area. This wireless charging example behind me is the next step in that process after the conductive V to G systems goes online. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to support us, why not do so via Patreon, Ko-fi, or by buying one of our t-shirts from our swag shop. Thanks for joining me. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. There will be more from CES very soon. But until then, keep evolving. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And why not switch to New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity company? That's it. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield, live from CES. And until next time, take care.